summer and comedies go together like peanut butter and jelly. And it's that time of the year again. And what we have first is no hard feelings. Let me first say this movie is rated R. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about taking your kids, I'll tell you at the end if it's worthwhile. Um, but just be aware. I don't think some of the people that were in line knew it was rated R. Also, like normal, I'm not going to ruin the plot for you. I'm not going to tell you any spoilers. So spoiler free. Let's start with the pros. One, I think comedies are typically pretty hard to execute on. They're never fantastic. They're usually really towing the line between just bad and okay. I would like to say that I think No Hard Feelings did better than okay. I think it's a little above average. Some scenes, obviously, probably, you know, a little too far, a little just dumb. Um, more dumb than the overall tone of the movie. But it's an enjoyable watch. It's a funny summer comedy. Jennifer Lawrence and I think Andrew Feldman, Feldman maybe, they play off of each other super well. I mean, they really do. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well they played off each other. Obviously, they're both made professionals, uh, but I think it's more than that. They really did seem to have some chemistry on screen. And I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, this is going to be a wild take. But Andrew Feldman, Feldman I'm going to go Feldman. Um, he plays like a nervous little older than a teenager. And I think he plays that role really well to the point that he could probably be the Flash. He could play the Flash role better than Ezra Miller could. I think because the Flash goes for that nervous slash, you know, awkward younger character i think he could do it that's way off topic but i think he could do it um let's dive back into the pros um acting that's it's great i do think this is probably the film's strongest uh point everyone is fantastic together they're funny it seems almost light-hearted and personal between everyone which is great to see in a comedy like this I don't think there's anything super special to talk about when it comes to the cinematography or the set or any like overall themes. It's nothing fantastic, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing new. But it's all done well enough. I don't think any of it adds to the scene. If anything, some of the stuff they do regarding like the set is kind of eh. But overall, it's okay. It, that's okay. The plot's funny. Credit where credit's due, it's a funny idea. And it's even funnier when it's like based off a real thing. So I think that adds an element of almost like thought provoking to the to the watcher of like this is if you know that this has happened before, right? Jennifer Lawrence talked about it in an interview, but that this has happened before and it's it's very funny to think about while you're sitting there watching the film. So if you're watching this before you've seen the film. It, this has happened. This is a real thing. At least the newspaper ad. That's all I'll dive into. And as for the humor, I think they delivered. I think some of it a little too raunchy. But overall, I mean, it was a good job. Like I said, comedies are really, really hard to execute on and do well. And I think this one did decently well. The jokes were funny. I was not the only one that laughed. I'm, I'm chuckled quite a few times like to in the seat to myself at little one-liners little jokes or just awkward encounters i think they did a, a great job and i do have to highlight like that was impressive i think of them because it's not a very typical thing when it comes to comedy especially for jennifer lawrence i've never seen her in like a comedy role and this was a great like first impression of that from her i think she did a fantastic job Female lead in a, com in a comedy, pushed it. Props to her. And her supporting actors and actresses did everything they could to elevate her, and I think they did it in a great job. So now let's just jump into the cons. I do want to say, I think one of them, and it's not hard to take points off for this, was the humor in some of the jokes is just not there. And you can't always have a perfect script, right? Like some, 
there's always going to be jokes that don't hit. I think the ones that didn't hit, though, made for some really awkward moments, but they were intentionally supposed to be funny, not like intentionally on funny. They were supposed to be funny, and they listed a response, and it didn't hit. A few of those, that's going to happen. I want to say for most of the supporting cast, they did a great job. Some of them just more grating than the others and felt like they detracted a little bit from the film. Um, like a certain cameo for me really kind of took the immersion away. And, and I hate saying that, but that's how I feel a lot of times about certain cameos. They're definitely unneeded and it, it makes my mind wander away from, I guess, what they're trying to deliver and what's happening. Uh, another one I think is that some of the scenes were a little outlandish. Obviously, the film is embellished and it's a joke and it's a comedy, but some of them are just a little too far, a little too stupid. And that is frustrating to see when I think the rest of it was done very well. And sure, that's very nuanced and whatnot. And I'm whatever. That's just me. I, I'm looking for things to find right or wrong. But some of those take away from it. And you're sitting there like, ah, oh, okay, you kind of lost me there. That happens a, a few times. Also, I can't take points off for this one. I think the ending's a little abrupt. And I'm not, I can't dive into it. But it, there's scenes happening straight up into the end, and then there's like two seconds, and then it cuts to black. And to me, I mean, I noticed it. I'm not taking points off for it, but I was like, that's odd. And maybe, I, I, uh, maybe I appreciate it. I don't know. I'm sure it's a pro or con. Something to talk about, at least. But overall, it's an enjoyable summer film. It is rated R. I probably would not take kids to this. Uh, if you do, you're going to have some explaining to do after the film. Uh, it's, not it's not worth taking your kids anyway. As a self-proclaimed movie critic, I'll give it like a 6. It's maybe 6.5, right in that range. It's not great little above average it did okay sure i laughed but it's nothing spectacular what you're going to the theater to see is a comedy raunchy summer flick and that's what you get they delivered on that you're not expecting perfection you're expecting some laughs personally i'd probably give like a seven i i did enjoy watching this it's funny i laughed quite a bit chuckled at myself the characters the ones that are good really delivered. But it's, again, nothing special. I don't think you need to see this in theaters. I think you could wait until it comes out on whatever streaming service it, it's going to end up on. Save yourself some money. Don't go see it in theaters. But it is enjoyable, and I probably wouldn't turn it off if it came on TV. With all that being said, if you watched it, let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on it. In the meantime, we have Past the Lives comes out in like four or five days um cannot wait to see that premiere gonna be watching that putting up another review for that so all i've got for you today bye